there. Now go back into your boot CD folder and up into your deploy folder you'll see at the bottom a file called unattended I'm just going to delete this file here because I don't need that one but choose the unattended file dot text and make sure now before we go any further make sure if you go up to the menu bar up the top go to tools I already have it done but just going to show you go to fold options click on view and just down here are these two options here where it says hide if you just see here where it says do not show and then it says show hidden well make sure the show hidden is selected and these two options directly are that make sure them two boxes are unchecked as they are in mine here so you just go to OK and rename this unattended.txt file. Rename this to WinNT. So that's W I N N T dot S I F. And when this dialog box comes up, be sure to select yes, otherwise the disk won't work. So that's okay. Now what you do, you copy this winnt.sif file, you copy that into the i386 folder, which if you just copy, go back out of deploy, go into your working folder, and where's my i386? and because I've already got one in there it's going to say do I want to replace it but in your case if it's your first time you won't have a file of that name so I'm going to paste it as I said it, it knows I already have one so I'm going to say yes and that is your disk finished and ready to burn there's just one more thing um, before you burn to disk. If you want, when you in, uh, insert your CD from booting, if you want it so that it automatically selects a partition, just that's okay, just leave it as it is. But in the, my case where I burn to disk, I wanted to be able to pick a specific partition. What I done there, I go back into my C drive, back into the boot CD, into the working, and the I386. Now scroll through this until you find the winnt.isf folder file. Now here is the winnt. .sif file. So you just double click it, choose this option to open the list of stuff to open with, just make sure that box there is unticked and that it's going to open with the notepad. You just double check, okay. Now this is the answer file it basically instructs the installation what to do so if you notice at the top of the list there you'll see auto partition equals one well if you want it so that you're able to choose a particular partition just delete that one and put in opening quotes no 
close in quotes and that's as simple as that and just push save and that's that now ready to burn so if you have Nero open up Nero and we'll go on that bit further so you want to choose the data in Nero burning ROM and just open up burning Nero burning ROM and this is opening up now now whether you want to make it a CD or DVD that's up to you just make sure you change this option here whether it be CD or DVD my files are small enough to go onto CD so just scroll down here until you get to CD-ROM boot so that's this here so just click on CD-ROM boot now you're in the boot part of it here just go up to the top here where it says either to boot a bootable logical or an image file so select the image file option and go over to browse now browse to your boot CD folder and look for the file that said uh, Microsoft Corporation you may not see it in the list when you open it up but if you just come down here to where it says the files of type just click that and choose all files it'll give you the Microsoft option there Microsoft uh, Corporation image so just double click that you should note in this uh, bar here now so come down to where it says the enable expert make sure that is checked come over here to the kind of emulation make sure this is selected at no emulation then come down here to where it says number of loaded stars and change that to 4 now that's done go up to the second tab here which says ISO what you want to make sure here is the number of characters or file name length is set at a maximum of 31 it could be by default set at a maximum of 11 so make sure that it's set at a maximum of 30 level 2 and just come down here to okay and now you're in the main part of the Nero burning ROM so what you want to do here is go back into your local disk C or whatever it is that you have labeled your hard drive then go to the boot CD and just one click on the working like so and to the right of that again then you have all the files and everything that's within that folder it's only the working folder needed here now so highlight all them by pushing letter the key CTRL for control and the A so hold control down and letter A it'll highlight all of them and drag them over to the left panel of Nero as you can see just there now what you want to do is go up to burn make sure you have your blank CD in now or DVD preferably in RW in case it doesn't turn out right for you they might have to go back and change a couple of minor little things but all those settings there just make sure that it's on right and finalized and basically that's it you will just click on burn and when finished if you want to try it out just have the disk in and boot up either go into your 
buyer setup or maybe you have F12 or an F key that brings you into a boot menu so just choose boot from CD I think that's about all from now for now I hope this has been of some help and thanks for listening